Hello everybody. I wanted to do a continuation on being born again. And we uh, shared how Nicodemus was the one who inspired Jesus to begin to talk about being born again, the born again process. Now we're gonna do a continuation from the first video and um, I'm gonna try to do a short, quick video and I want to kind of take it in steps. So we finished in verse. In verse four. Or let's rather let's just start there. Nicodemus said unto him. How can a man be born? How can a man be born again? When he's old like me. 47 years old. <laughs> It's not old to a lot of y'all, but I feel old, right? Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter? Notice what he says here. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus said, Barely, barely, except, I say unto you, except a man be born of water, and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So Jesus broke down the born again process to, to, to being born of the water and of the spirit. Water, spirit, born again. Born again of the water and of the spirit. We need to break this down, okay? But I want to continue a little bit further. And verse 6. Well, verse 5. Verily, verily, I said to you, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now remember, in order to see... and enter the kingdom of God in order to see and enter the kingdom of God you have to be born again which consists of a process now don't misinterpret what I'm saying because this process I'm going to show later and prove it that this process is I'll put it right here faith base it has nothing to do with works so get that out of your mind the process of being born again where you where this process enables you to see understand and enter the kingdom of God you have to be born of the water and of the spirit okay I'm gonna break this down but first I want you to go and with me and let's finish off in verse 6 because look at what Jesus says Jesus says that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Right? Except a man be born of the water of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Why? Because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit marvel not that I say unto you you must be born again so we have to be born of what we have to be born of the spirit as a uh, 
uh, as the final solution, that's what we want. We want to be born of the Spirit of God, which means God dwelling inside us. Amen? So, in order to be born again, we have to be born of the water and spirit. Why? Because the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. All right, now let's break this down first because it's important. Because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Now, Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again? Jesus said, except a man be born again. Let's, let's focus on that a little bit to kind of get a better understanding of this, okay? And of this. It all ties in together. Jesus said, unless you're born again of what? Unless you're born again of water and spirit, you cannot enter or see the kingdom of God. Watch this. When we are born, how, how do we know that we are, how do you as a father or a mother know that there's a child about to be born, right? How do women know? Because their water breaks, okay? There's, I don't want to get into all the details, but basically there's a plug. And once the head of the baby is close enough to that plug, he's kind of like with the head, with his head, he's pushing that plug off and then the water breaks. The water that protects the baby inside the womb, which is some type of acid or water-based acid to protect the baby. So when a natural birth is about to take place, water breaks. Okay, we got the point. So in a natural fleshly birth, We are born by water and spirit, okay? When, uh, when we were born, what did the doctor have to do in order for you to take your first breath? Which is, what did God breathe into Adam? The spirit of life. Come on now. Hallelujah. Everything we see, everything that exists, trees, animals, grass, whatever you want to call it, everything, God's creation does not exist unless it has this spirit of life. The breath of God sustains us and maintains us alive. So when we are born of the natural birth, let me put this natural birth, natural, natural birth, we are born of the same two elements that the born again process consist of that's why Jesus said you have to be born all over again but not in the natural sense in the natural birth but now you have to take on a spiritual birth something that happens faith based born again process a spiritual birth from above, which is God being birthed 
inside us through the Holy Ghost. Now, natural birth. We have to be born again. Why? Because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Now, I want to point this out and make it clear. A natural birth has the same uh, symbolic, or not symbolic, but it, in the same essence, it also, there's a process of water and spirit. Water, the water breaks, and then when the baby is born, normally the doctors spank their butt. So what? So he could finally take his first breath of life and become a living, breathing soul like Adam and Eve did in the beginning, all right? So right now, what sustains us? Oxygen, the breath of life. Because without oxygen in our blood, we don't have enough oxygen and blood in our brain, we will die. But anyways, the point is that the spirit of life is received at our natural birth. Okay? Now, Jesus said, we have to be born again. How? All over again. By water and by the Spirit. Now, why do we have to be born again of the water and the Spirit? First, we need to understand the natural birth. Amen? And we're going to do that in the next video. Right now, I just want to point out that being born again consists of water and spirit. Okay? But not in the natural birth. The Bible says that which is born of the flesh is flesh. The natural birth has nothing to do, hear me please, has nothing to do with the spiritual birth that Nicodemus and Jesus are talking about, which is born again. Not being born in the natural birth. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how to be born again of what? Of God, which is to be born of the Spirit. But before we get to that, we must understand when we are born natural birth, which also consists of water and spirit, but God doesn't want us to be born of the natural flesh. In other words, I mean, not over again. Nicodemus said, how can I enter my mother's womb again? No, no, that's not what... The Lord is talking about Nicodemus. He's talking about how to be born again, but of God. God within you. Okay? So I have to point this out first. Natural birth also consists of being born of water and of the spirit of life. Your first breath. your first breath, okay? I'm gonna stop there, because the next video, I wanna break down the natural birth. Why do we have to be born again? What is it that we inherit by our natural birth or through our natural birth? What is it that we receive? What is it that we inherit naturally that the Lord is telling us, hey, you've been born once? Yeah, well, what you inherit fleshly, natural birth, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, I want to get into our natural birth inheritance. Because once we understand that, then we can understand why it is vital that we must be born again. Amen? God bless you. See you in the next video.